Hi everyone, I'm Jackson, this is Neha. Uh, we're both from the Microsoft Graph team. And we're here today to talk to you a little bit about national clouds. So Neha, um, just in general, what are national clouds and which ones are available? Yeah, sure. So nat national clouds are basically the physical and logical separate instance of the regular uh, enterprise Microsoft Worldwide Cloud. And these have basically, these are confined within the geographical boundaries of the countries. The main reason they are confined because they have compliance around data, these countries, or the reason uh, for which these clouds were spent, they have strict regulations around data and the data cannot be accessed by everyone. So we have these national clouds and we have three national clouds for that matter. One was specifically spent for US government. The other two are for China and Germany. Oh, okay. And so am I right that there's different data in each cloud? Yes, right. So because uh, if you are, if you have application in China, then it's like most of the data is only confined to the China uh, geographical boundaries and cannot be accessed by the other clouds or outside China, basically. Okay, I see. Then um, how about the Microsoft Graph APIs in these clouds? Um, are they basically the same across all the different national clouds? So... Uh, the overall developer experience of accessing Microsoft Graph APIs is absolutely similar the way you would call um, Microsoft Graph API in a worldwide environment. But uh, not all the APIs are available in all the clouds. So my recommendation would be if you are developing an application uh, and you are going to have a requirement to publish those applications in other national cloud, I would recommend to keep in mind that make sure that the APIs, Graph APIs you're going to use are available across all the clouds. Okay, and then how about the actual code for calling these different clouds? Like, does it differ between clouds, or is the code basically similar? Um, so the code is very much similar. You can use the same application and get it running in like within like minutes, I would say. The only thing is, as these are the different clouds, all of the services are running separately and they are deployed, they have separate instances in all these environments. So the endpoint basically to reach out to these services are separate. So basically if you if your application was running in worldwide, it would be calling different endpoints, whereas if you want to run the application in China, you would be, for example, registering your application in separate app registration portal for China. Okay. And the same goes for US government and Germany. Okay, great. So Neha, can we take a look now at a demo of how to start calling uh, national clouds with Graph? Sure. So Jackson, yeah. So about learning how is the overall development experience is different. I can show you here, we have the sample about integrated Windows authentication. Okay. I just went ahead and downloaded the sample. I have one sample already downloaded and I have opened it in my Visual Studio. Okay. And you can go into the app settings.json under the dependencies IWA console and you will see here so we here we have enums for each and every environment, which makes it so easy to understand which environment you're uh, going to publish your application and what are the endpoints you want to call. So you do not even need to remember the endpoints. You just need to go ahead in msal.net. You just go ahead and use these enums, and you'd be ready to go, basically. Oh, and I see. And uh, this is basically, I'm mainly talking about the authority endpoints, like once one we had for Azure Public, login.microsoftonline.com. We have se separate ones for Azure US Gov, China, and Germany. The same thing you do with the Microsoft Graph API. Here I have uh, graph.microsoft.com, which is uh, the endpoint for uh, Azure, Microsoft Worldwide Cloud, basically. Right, that's the but, normal one I'm used to working with. Exactly, but here you can go ahead and um, have uh, your own uh, Microsoft Graph API here um, for any national cloud you want, and you can go ahead and find the list here in the National, uh, national Cloud Deployments page, which, is, which you can find in Microsoft Graph Docs, and basically here are here is the list of all the graph um, 
endpoints for Germany, US Gov, and China. And you can use any of the uh, endpoints from here. For example, I am just um, choosing Microsoft Graph for US and going here and just like go ahead and paste it here. Oh, great. And it's ready to go. Very neat. Yeah. So, yeah, this is where uh, you just need to go ahead and change the settings and your application is ready to be run in National Cloud. Yeah. Cool. Great. Thank you, Neha. Yeah, absolutely. Um, is there anything else that you want to uh, share with us about National Clouds? Or yeah, sure. Any place we can go to learn more? Yeah. So, I would say um, two things to keep in mind. One is like you need to uh, keep different endpoints in mind that all these services are separate. So these have different endpoints. So keep, make sure that you're calling the right endpoints respective to that national cloud. The other thing is when you're developing the application, try to uh, find out your requirements ahead of time and see if all the Microsoft Graph APIs you're going to call are available across all the clouds so sure. that you're not getting stuck. So yeah, and to learn more, you can actually go on the graph.microsoft.com and we have samples and documentation to learn more about this. Great, thank you so much. Yeah, absolutely.